Hi, hello, it's Dan again from BPMS support and with more support issues, this time about sending files to BPMS by using BPMS tools. So let's open it up and you will need to send files to BPMS sometimes if the issue is such that we need to take a look at your database and resolve something or maybe do something to your database to fix it. Now, to do that, you will have these two basic options, upload files to BPMS support, which is basically going to our FTP site, and this other way is by sending us an email zipping file and sending it to us. In both cases, you're basically zipping your database file. So let's hit the upload files. When you first do it for the first time in BPMS, if you never send files to BPMS, you will be given this prompt to basically uh, name the file that's going to come to us and we suggest you name it uh, the way you your city is named, right? Or your company. So I'll say my company 01 just to have the incremental number. I'll hit OK. And once I hit OK, I can see that my company number is here uh, my company number my 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 file name is here and it's had the extension zip because that's the file that's going to come to us now data file uh, data files are to be included of course because that's your uh, database so always make sure that you have this checked up uh, checked this two fields right and by default they're checked and sometimes if you need to send us your documents then you need to check this field as well so I'm going to uncheck it in this case. Now you would go click the zip and send button. So you say yes to this. And uh, it will ask you about compacting the database. You say yes because that makes the file smaller. So you say yes. And you will get this next prompt that you don't need to care about because it's all automatic. You just need to hit the upload button and your upload to BPMS should start. It will be pretty fast in this case. That's it. So we can close out of this and eventually uh, we sent the file to BPMS. So you can close out of this. You can save changes. You don't have to. It doesn't really matter. We'll just save this file name. So I'll say yes. And uh, the same thing would happen if I went about emailing file to BPMS, right? The same file name exists and you would be then using zip and send the whole procedure it would just open up your current email uh, program and it would attach this uh, zip file to it and it would send it to email uh, that's put in here which is bpms and bpms.net so i'll close out of this this is how you basically send files to bpms if in any case none of these would work for you for any reason, please ask your IT department to give us a call because we can provide the FTP contact so they can actually send us the file in some other way. In case you're under some firewall or for any other reason this is not working for you, this is how you should go about it. And of course the number is 1-877-250-2698. Signing off, Dan from BPMS. Bye now.